Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel because in this episode, I'm going to make a set of wrought iron chopsticks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the other day I was driving around in my truck and uh, it was about lunchtime and I was getting sick of eating cheese sandwiches and I went past this Chinese restaurant and they were making like a lunchtime special. I thought, I'll have some of that, fantastic. So I got some in that, you know, in the, in the little plastic container, you know, and uh, so what they did then, they were giving away uh, with your lunch, they'd give you a set of chopsticks, you know, little plastic ones. I thought I'll have a go at that, you know, I was eating my lunch. <laughs> but there's a big problem with being a blacksmith, mentally, right? I was looking at these chopsticks and I was looking at them and thinking, oh yeah, right, yeah, a little bit of a six millimeter quarter inch square bar with a bit of a long point, you know, tapped in the front. I was thinking, oh, come on, just enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Stop thinking like a blacksmith, all right? But later on, I thought, that'd be a good project, actually. So I'm going to make a set of wrought iron chopsticks just because I can and for no other reason, okay? So let's go out to the forge right now. Let's make ourselves a set of chopsticks. Chicken chow min anyone? Ho ho! Mm mm. Would you like rice with that?
So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That's the end of that forging. We've made ourselves a fantastic set of wrought iron chop chopsticks. Okay, now, I must admit, I've been pulling the wool over your eyes a little bit there. Okay, these chopsticks are not for eating stuff. What they are, about uh, 15, 20 years ago, perhaps now, I saw this documentary on this Japanese guy. He was like a sword maker. And he was making his swords and everything, <laughs> all that kind of thing, and he had his forge going. He had a charcoal forge. And he was picking up little bits of charcoal with these chopsticks and putting them onto the fire. That apparently charcoal in Japan is so incredibly expensive and kind of hard to get hold of that they just didn't want to throw it on with a shovel. You know, they had to, he would put it on little piece by little piece with a pair of these uh, wrought iron chopsticks. And that's what he was using them for. He'd like pick up a little bit of charcoal like that and he'd put it on the fire like that, you know. So I thought, that's awesome apart from being a really interesting little project to make you know simple but interesting I'm going to use them for that because I've got a charcoal forge as you know out there in the smithy in that little rivet forge and I thought that'd be neat actually you know picking up little things picking out a bit of charcoal put it on the forge a little bit of charcoal put it on the forge I think that'd be excellent so I've really enjoyed making these they've been a fantastic little project very simple, very easy, very unusual, very unique actually. I've never seen another set of chopsticks made anywhere on the net, apart from watching the little Japanese guy do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video and uh, the making of these little chopsticks. And they're a very simple project for a beginner, even though I don't know what you want for all chopsticks, okay. Maybe you could use them. I mean, you know, put a bit of food grade oil on them. And you, could, you could eat your, uh, you know, your Mongolian lamb. Yummy, yummy. What do you reckon? I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, folks, that's the end of this video. It was a little bit of fun. It was nothing, uh, nothing flash or fancy. So, until the next time I make another video, thanks very much for watching this one, and uh, we'll catch you later.